Come on, Gramps, you shouldn't be pushing yourself this hard. I understand now. I'm beginning to realize that all that big talk wasn't just for show. I'm getting a better idea of what's beneath the leaf. But there's still one thing that this withered noggin of mine can't make sense of. They say no one hates us more than you do. When I look at you, I don't see even a single ounce of resentment. So if you'd be so kind to indulge me. What's the reason you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the gods? <sighs> Everybody's always asking me that question. And it seems now you are too. Is it hatred? Or revenge? Why does it matter? That's irrelevant. Is there any man alive who needs a reason? <laughs> to protect his very own children. Well said. Always with the mushy stuff. You can say that again. Upon hearing this, humanity trembled. The children of Adam, awestruck by the compassion of their father's benevolent words, felt a shiver of emotion. Without any prompt, the people began to take action. And for the first time in history, the entire human race united as one. They prayed for humanity. They prayed for victory for their father. It appears that mankind has spontaneously achieved consensus! In spite of my better judgment, I believe the young man is growing on me. What a hero! Can make a guy is so cool I can barely stand it! It appears that I underestimated the quality of his moral character. He really is the paragon of mankind.